Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiana and this is Tiana's channel where I talk about hair, beauty, health, and fashion related topics. So today I'm bringing you guys a video on hair. I finally got my hands on the Curlsmith Bond Curl Rehab Salve. So I want to test this out and I do have Olaplex. So I do want to test this out on one side of my hair and use the Curlsmith Bond Curl Rehab Salve on the other side so we can compare them. And this video is not sponsored. I know I've seen a lot of sponsored videos about this product and I just want to see does it really work and offer you guys a not sponsored video by Curlsmith. And also, side note, I did purchase their 30 day length therapy pills i'm a little bit over two weeks in and it says do like three months to see the best results so i do plan on doing like a video on that after one month and then after two months and then after three months and then i'll review it for you guys but i have measured my hair and i want to show you guys some before and after results after using these pills but that will be a completely separate video something to look forward to in the future but today i'm just going to review this product for you guys so as you may have seen this product is silicone paraben and sulfate free, mineral oil free, and phthalates and DEA free. So it's a pretty safe product for your hair and it's supposed to help with defining and repairing the damaged curls that you may have in your hair. Again, this is not going to curl your hair if your hair is not naturally curly. So if you're looking for it to do that, it's not going to work. Um, but this is just going to repair the curls that you already have if they may be damaged or color treated or just not flourishing like they're supposed to this is probably going to help you out and depending on your hair's porosity it depends on how often you want to use the product so if you have low porosity this product tells you to use it every two to three wash days but if you have medium porosity then it says use every other wash day and if you have high porosity hair then you want to use it every single wash day so it's good to know that this product is safe enough to use every single wash day and i also like the fact that it's a lot bigger than the olaplex this was about 28 dollars i believe and i think this was about the same so you're getting more bang for your buck with this product compared to olaplex but the real test is does it actually work the same we all know Olaplex works. As you've seen previously in my video where I compared Olaplex to Fanola's Bond treatment and we all know Olaplex is a savior. So um, we're going to see how well it works against this. But first my hair has to be damp and I'm going to go hop in the shower. I have maybe a couple of leftover products, days old products in my hair. So I'm just going to rinse my hair and have it clean so that I can put this product on it. I'm not gonna shampoo and condition it yet because you're not supposed to do that until after you rinse this product out. So I'm gonna go get my hair clean and start with this clean slate so that I can go ahead and get this video started for you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, so my hair is completely drenched right now and I've gone ahead and parted it down the middle and it's all detangled so I'm going to use Olaplex um, I'll use it on this side and I'll use the Carl Smith Bond Salve on this side also if you like videos like this please be sure to subscribe I always forget to say that and I always forget to plug in my Instagram so if you guys want to follow me on Instagram I'll go ahead and put my name down below just so you guys can see that I always forget um, but yeah so I'm going to go ahead and put this Olaplex on the left side of my hair and then I'll go ahead and put the bone curl on the right side. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do this side of my hair with the Curl Smith Bond Salve. So let's go ahead and open this. It smells, it smells good. It has a nice fragrance, and it does have a stronger scent than the Olaplex, but they both smell pretty good. So 
um, that's a plus. And another great thing is that it has so many good ingredients. This video is not sponsored, like I said, but it really does have good natural ingredients. On the front, it says pressed chia seeds, shiitake mushrooms, parapult, pumpkin seed oil, guava, and kale. So these are all really good things for your hair, and they all have a lot of nutrients that your hair can take in. So this is the consistency. This is what it looks like. It's a bit thicker than the Olaplex, as you can see. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and mix this up, get it in my hands, and then put it throughout my hair. Alright, so both sides of my hair are completely finished and saturated as the product says to do. Saturate your hair with the product, so I've done that on both sides. And now, I'm going to wait an hour, so the bottle says you can wait anywhere from a minimum of 15 minutes, but up to no more than an hour. And that's because this product does have protein, so you want to be careful. Anything more than an hour is probably going to be too much. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it in for an hour, and then I will be back and wash this product out of my hair, and I'll give you guys the final overview of what it looks like and then my final thoughts. Alright you guys, it has been about one hour since I put the products in my hair and I just wanted to come on here before I wash them out to show you what they look like. My hair is almost dry, well, probably like 90% dry. So this side was the Olaplex, this side was Curlsmith and I just wanted to show you guys what it's looking like um, before I go and wash it out and talk about something that I noticed when I was sitting there waiting for this to dry. The only thing that I can see, I don't see much difference between the two as they are right now, um, but one thing I noticed was the smell. So the smell of the Carl Smith Bond Salve was pretty much overpowering the smell of the Olaplex. It is more of a muted scent compared to this one, um, but they, they both smell good, but this one is definitely overpowering and it's noticeably overpowering. So anyways, with that said, I'm trying to give you guys everything, all the differences that I noticed in this video so you guys can get a full review on everything, um, my opinion about this product. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this product out. It's been a long time since I've seen my hair without any product on it, so there's no telling what it's about to look like. Uh, right now it looks good, but that's because it has stuff in it. But I don't know what my hair looks like without products. I always keep something on it, whether it's like a leave-in conditioner or oils or something. My hair's always got something in it, moisturizing it, something. So this will be interesting to see. I don't think I've done this since the last Bond treatment comparison between Vanola and Olaplex. So anyways, let me go wash this out and I'll be right back. Alright, I am back and my hair is completely dry on both sides. So this is the final product. This is the Olaplex side and this is the Curlsmith side. This is the outside, this is underneath. I don't think there's a drastic difference between the two. I think they both did really well and I'm surprised that my hair is actually have some like curl definition to it when it's completely dry with no product in it. My hair has come a long way since that very first mon treatment I did on this channel. My hair did not do any of this at all so I'm definitely seeing some progress with my curly hair journey, getting my curls back. So I'm very happy to see my hair like this in this state with no product. So this is what I have going on underneath. I do have curl definition. Um, and on the outside of my hair, I do have some like wave, curl, definition, some kind of pattern there. Same with Olaplex. I think Olaplex is the same thing um, and underneath. 
it's pretty even. As I looked at my ends though, I thought uh, Curlsmith did a good job at like curling all the way down to the ends. And Olaplex, I have some curl definitions toward the ends too, but I think Curlsmith kind of outshined when it came to curling all the way down to the ends. Sometimes I have straight ends that need to be cut off, but I think Curlsmith has done a good job at giving some life back to that curl and curling it up. But as far as shine, I don't see a difference between the shine. As far as curl definition, I don't see much of a major difference between the two. We all love Olaplex. We all know Olaplex does great things for the hair. But for Curlsmith to come in with a product that performs just as well as Olaplex, that's saying a lot. Like That's a really good thing, especially when you consider the price point for each and how much you get for your dollar. So all in all, I think they both did a wonderful job on my hair. I'm actually really excited to see some curls with no product in my hair. Y'all, it's been a long time coming. So anyway, my final opinion about both of them. I can see myself repurchasing this Curlsmith Bond Curl Rehab Salve and that's because it performs just as well as Olaplex but I do get a little bit more for my money whenever I purchase this one. Curlsmith came in pretty strong with this product. I'm very pleased, very impressed with how it performed on my hair and I'm excited that we now have another product that's sulfate so it's going to paraben free on the shelves for us so that is another great thing about this product. With that, I am here to remind you to always deep condition your hair and let me know down in the comments below what you think about this product and how well it worked on my hair and like the results and everything if you like videos like this please give this video a thumbs up i am so happy i was able to get my hands on this curlsmith bond salve and i already had the olaplex mon treatment so i figured why not go ahead and do a video for you guys and give you an in-depth review but other than that make sure you guys are subscribed turn on your post notifications so you're notified every single time that i post i post every single sunday so hopefully i will see you next week bye guys